do 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 do. Welcome to the show. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really, our new theme song. I really That's I our really, new theme song. I really thought just everything was going to work because you know it worked and then it didn't work. For people who only listen to the podcast, uh we did our level best to uh do a live uh stream today, my first back from Europe. Your butt. Uh, oh, my God. And, and we had thought through so many things from the visuals of how we're going to set up the and, camera. And, 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 and they will all will be revealed in good time. Uh, that being said, we had technical issues <laughs> that eclipsed our ability to do it. But it was very, very important for us to do a show today because... We need to pay tribute to oh, a great man. We're going to start with the sad part. We're going to start with the sad part. Yeah. And then we're going to get to it. And, and here's the reason why. For those of you who do not know, a member of our community that many, many, many of you knew, uh, Time Jumper, Patrick Cohn, yeah. uh, is no longer with us. And uh, I, I, I wish... I have more information and, and when we do, we will pass it along. Please follow us on, on socials, Justin, R. young and Schwood at any and everywhere that you can think. Um, we will, we will get information out as we get it. However, uh, he's no longer with us and that's the top line. I, uh, I found out like, uh, so I, I, I was very pleased that, um, I was able to TD, uh, uh, cord killers last night and we got through the main show and we did spoiler in time. And then just like right before we were going to do the Patreon only after talk, uh, uh, who uh, texted me directly just flat out saying Patrick Cohn has passed away according to his Facebook. And uh, I, I just melted down and I remember saying to Tom Merritt um, and I, I assumed I was on air and I give no fucks about that. Uh, I was like, I just felt it so hard. Um, and I tried to express uh, how, how I want to spend the rest of my life being Patrick Cohn. I want to be somebody who's so generous and loving and interested in where you're headed, who's proud to support you. Uh, and I just, I just broke down crying. Um, that was a, that was a hard one for me. And uh, I think, I think what I said internally on the discord was, I wish I was tall like Patrick, so I could give hugs the way he did. I, w I, I wish I had his talent for being so focused on other people. Um, and uh, I pointed out that he's not only a really great guy, but he was Diamond Club's first capital R really great guy. And uh, he, he meant an awful lot to me. And I would love it if I spent the rest of my life being like him. I found out because your wife texted me. Bonnie texted me. And uh, she had heard through Whiskey Tribe people and uh, Daniel from Whiskey Tribe specifically. And she texted me and said, I don't think I'm going to tell Brian until tomorrow. 
And I said, well, he's live on the internet. <laughs> and I think he's, <laughs> he's probably going to hear through the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she's like, oh, yeah, good point. It was a gut punch. Because Ashley had been keeping in touch with him and then vis-a-vis I had been keeping in touch with uh, all the steps of his brain surgery that, that was happening. And um, he had gotten out of surgery. The brain surgery did great. And then all of a sudden he's gone. Uh, and to be totally honest, I still don't know all the details and, and uh, trust me, I will fucking pass along to any and everybody who I know loved him uh, uh, when we do. And here's the reason why that's important because this isn't just, like spreading word on uh, how a man died. That man touched so many lives, lives that like, I don't even really comprehend how many, because since I've been posting about it on Twitter, there are other people from other communities that are reacting they said that you ain't even heard of that. Like he was their God too. Right. Like it's like, like going around the way it's like Marco Polo going around the, the world and then going to China and being like, Oh, you also have an Aries. <laughs> like, like there's just there, there, there is a, a reality of something that, I've believed in my entire life. I bet my entire fucking life on. I didn't go into fucking newspapers because I believed in the internet. I immediately was like, I believed in two things coming out of college when I had the same trajectory to, if not the talent, to be like at any top fucking newspaper, any top magazine that I fucking wanted to uh, uh, based on the trajectory of, comps right like uh because i love two things in the moment sketch comedy and ultimately the thing that i loved the most was the internet and i bet on the internet i was like look i'm all in and patrick Cohn believed in the internet he loved the internet but more than that he loved something that even though we created them he understood internet communities better than we did. And I don't even know now that he's gone, whether or not he fully appreciated it. But now that he is gone and I can look at his life in full, I can tell you that this is the narrative. He understood that if somebody with means threw a little bit into this community, just enough to make it keep going, then it would matter. And it didn't matter what the content was. Didn't matter if it was us. Didn't matter if it was Whiskey Tribe. Didn't matter if it was Domestic Dan or Bone In or, or any of the other places that, that I know of that he, like, supported. God knows what else he did because he certainly was, was generous. We were all, we were saying this at the bar, we were just a roadside attraction. We were we were a malformed elf statue on the side of Route 66 that once every year a bunch of people gather around and take pictures of. He he thought that was important because you want to know what the connections that mattered around it mattered. The community that mattered around it mattered. And when I was in my phone last night trying to find pictures of me and Time Jumper, I couldn't find any. Because me and him, either like he was at an event where we were performing and it was like a, a, a big thing. We didn't get a ton of time where we were one on one. And if we were one on one, we weren't taking pictures with each other because we were enjoying each other's company. And. That meant that we were a reason to gather. but the gathering that I saw on the internet where everybody else had pictures of, of them and, and, and time jumper. 
That's what fucking mattered. It mattered that Sunbun had pictures. It mattered that Mitzi had pictures. It mattered that Tay Allen had pictures. Like, it, it mattered that that everybody else had pictures because that's why he was important. That's why everybody who's listening to this is important. And it's why I'm happy to be that malformed fucking elf statue on the side of Route 66 because, uh, uh, like, let me just tell you, from the perspective of that statue, it's a fucking honor to serve. I'll tell you what. Um, there, he cared. He cared so much. He cared enough to show the fuck up. And so few people care that much to show the fuck up. Um, and to be honest, like, uh, I I don't remember the last time I saw him. Like I I can't pin down that memory. I suspect it was at Founders the last Day. Founders Day, probably. But I know for a fact two things. I would I'll bet my life on two things. Uh, I gave him a big big hug, and I told him I loved him, and um, I aspire to be the kind of person who other people can uh, just know, well, that's obviously what I did the last time that I saw. You were at my surprise 40th birthday party or the, the surprise 40th reveal, right? Yeah. At a bowling alley in uh, uh, South Austin, Texas. Where the immortal words were spoken. I'm so glad I'm high right now. <laughs> because I, I'm realizing now that's my like end of Titanic. Where like <laughs> like I just see like all the people that I've loved the most. Yeah. Like in one place. Um, He was there. He came down. He actually had other plans and he had to leave, I think, that next morning or even that night. But he was there in that room to be a, among that collage, that Sergeant Pepper's collage of all my favorite fucking people. And I mean, I'm fucking thrilled. I, I, I mean, that, 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 that he was there. Uh, the man. The man's heart was so big and, and my, and, and honestly, like my love goes out to, to Abby, his daughter, uh, because I know if he had enough love for the internet, that his love for her was fucking, uh, uh, immeasurable. Um, There are a few people I've ever experienced who, uh, when you talk to them, you feel like you're being heard in a way that rarely happens in life. Um, uh, and whatever. It's great that he spent money to support so many independent creators. And it's cool that there's a strange family that we're all cousins of. Um, but ultimately, what does it take to be the kind of person to get on a plane to be there for that show or for that birthday party? Or yeah. like, my God, uh, I, I told, uh, I told, uh, I told Tom Mary last night. I was like, my God, I just want to spend the rest of my life being Patrick Cohn. I talked to him a lot about trash. Cause that was his business. His <laughs> business was, was, was waste management. And, and I knew that because Wayne Heisinger founded that company 
and he was like the guy that founded the sports teams in South Florida. Like, so when I was growing up, he created the Marlins, he created the Panthers. Wayne Heisinga was like a big deal in South Florida. So I talked a lot about trash. <sighs> um, but here's the thing I know that TJ would say, and he is he is saying in his force goes form. In a nice way, he wouldn't be mean. He wouldn't bark any orders. But but he would gently tap us on the shoulder and say, uh, yeah, also, but do a show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but also, no, but also, he, he, but, he also but also, but also, but also talk about some shit that's not me. Yeah. He, he would say, thank you. It's nice. He was not an, 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 an immodest person. But, uh, but, uh, uh, he would, uh, he would say, but you want to know what Do do the thing that fucking made me listen to y'all. Yeah. It's like, uh, 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 motherfuckers. There's a reason that I invested in you early on. There's a reason that I'm your favorite guy. Fucking do the thing that made me proud. So let's talk about butts. Yeah. What if come were flubber? <sighs> Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, no, no. What do you mean? No. Like, would that even, mean women could jump like, really high? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, like, like I, like I would stop wanting to come if, if, if come, it were flubber. Yeah. So it would come out like come. Yeah. It would just bounce. Yeah. So you would only really know it if it if you came on the floor. If you came into a uh, uh, tissue. Okay. Again, uh, already we're at a part that I I would not want to do. Like 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 uh, to come into a tissue. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. that's a second job. I I'm doing one job when I come, and that's to come. Uh, I don't want a second job. But- <laughs> Pre-cleaning my so own mess. That do you I'm only making. do you only ejaculate into a ravine, <laughs> into a garbage disposal? Okay, okay no. Uh, uh, okay, you want to get real? Uh, Let's fucking, get real. Fucking, I, I I've learned to lean back and figure out absolute <laughs> <laughs> vertical. <laughs> <laughs> so that brush we don't uh, dance he just pull up his pants and <laughs> do the rock away lean back lean back lean like, back lean like, back like, like like i don't want my cum to go anywhere uh, wait so hold on you lean back and do what uh I, I i make sure to line my dick up with the sun uh so that it shoots up and then lands right back where it began <laughs> You recycle? <laughs> well, because now you're a zero waste facility. Now there's less to clean up. It right? explains so much like, about your personality. I don't want to shoot cum. it anywhere. <laughs> I don't, don't want to have to clean it up later on. That's like, male privilege. Is uh, shooting cum, shooting cum, and shooting piss is is a profile definitional to the male experience. Hold on. Like, like, like uh, when you say privilege, yeah, what's uh, like, uh, to me, the privilege would be to be a woman and have the dignity to be able to come and not have anybody even know. When because, I say privilege, because you're not when, when, leaving when I, when I, when I, when a I, fucking UV light trail. When I, when I say privilege, I don't mean to say that one is better than the other. What I mean to say is that it is a privilege to experience the ability to do it. So I'm sure a, a, a female experience is something female privilege is something for which I would leave a female to to explain. I can only explain my side of the fence and my side of the fence is skeet, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> like it, it's fun. It's fun to do. What? It, yes. Uh, it's fun to piss outside. I piss outside constantly. If if I had my druthers, did- I would exclusively piss outside. <laughs> Did I tell you that I got a talking to about my pissing outside? Oh, um, by whom? Annalisa. Oh, no. Just out of nowhere says, hey, I grew up in the country, too. But just so you know, from where I'm sitting in this office, 
I'm able to see <laughs> almost the backside of your office. And I'm like, oh, I was peeing, wasn't I? She goes, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you fucking, you're on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I used to go all the way around, but then all of a sudden I was just staring at the, uh, the scamstuff.com work shack. And, and I was like, Ugh. So instead, I was peeing over here, and I guess you watched me pee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but still, a joy. A joy to pee outside. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It, it's it's not just a joy. It's a right. It's it's the right of... This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and to be honest... Uh, profile uh, definitional of the male experience. What well, no, I I think it should be a universal experience. I think if you are a way to be honest, uh uh Bonnie, if you're listening, I think you should just squat drop and squat whenever you feel like it. If you have over an acre, then uh, let that pee shaker. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think again, this is this is us making guesses of what's happening on the other side of the fence and assuming that our experience is their experience. But there's one thing for which does not happen, which is uh, uh, whenever you've gone into a civilized indoor bathroom and taken a hot piss, have you ever in your life reached for the toilet paper to grab but a single square to dab your penis head. No. No. Uh, no. Right. Well, not only no, but I don't understand the question. Every woman listening. Every time that they've gone pee. Yeah. They have grabbed tissue paper. You know why? All right, Rush Limbaugh. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> because they have not discovered the magic that is. CalicoCutPants.com. Oh. <laughs> By the way, you know, I had to throw those out today. Because <laughs> I did Calico Cut Pants on the show. And then I washed them twice, thinking like, I don't know, maybe I'll still have khakis. Nope. <laughs> I ruined khakis with fucking uh, uh, olive oil <laughs> so I could do a Calico Cut Pants bit on the show. I looked at him. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to squint and say maybe I could use them. Fuck them. I'm rich enough to buy another, another pair of That's what shit happens khakis. when you don't give. You should have. You, you, you gotta, gotta give. give. You gotta give. <laughs> you gotta give. Uh, But yeah, pissing and coming, man. Best thing going. Yeah. Did you hear about this uh, Bill Gates? Was he pissing and coming? Yeah, you know, he invented Microsoft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Crazy. <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, oh, is there more? They made Windows. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of Windows? <laughs> yeah. Well, also curing malaria, saving six million people. I'm a year. caught up with that. Okay. I'm, okay, I'm, okay. St I'm still on Windows. Okay. All right. All right. That happens later. I, I assume uh, 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 I'm only in the Thank you for third not chapter. <laughs> <laughs> that open AI shit was wild. Okay. I don't know how much we could even talk about that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I talked about it on other shows, so I can talk about it as much as I talked about it on other shows. As I understand it. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you my experience? <sighs> yeah, you, please. <laughs> So I'm texting with Maine. And Andrew Maine, who who is no longer employed by OpenAI. Former science communicator. Yeah. The first prompt engineer of OpenAI. Uh I'm texting with him about other shit. And then he sends me the press release. I'm like, well, that's a fucking knifing. And we're like making just random guesses as to why like this dramatic thing what we're like like well, like like, like do, do, does he have a head in the freezer well, i mean th my assumption is yeah he's going to jail like yeah. like there's no other reason why like 
like a uh, company valued at $86 billion would, you know, fire their CEO who holds no stock, takes a reasonable salary, and that's it. Takes, yeah, I think no salary. Like, like, I, I, he, he's, he's, yeah. Like, like, like genuinely a true believer in, in the cause that they're working on. I forget the example that somebody uh, did on another podcast, but it's like people that out and out steal from their companies, like provably just graft their own companies, get the ability to resign. <laughs> like they are gifted the dignity to say, uh, uh, because of my family, <laughs> I'm walking away. And then six months later, you find out that like, oh, God, like awful, awful, awful shit had happened. Blah, 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 blah. And this dude was like, like, oh, because he's a liar, he's leaving. And you're like, well, that dude is either a murderer or a pedophile. Well, and, 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 and there's and, only and, two. And, and, like, Plus, also, it's even better language. It's like we found him to be. Less than forthright. <laughs> <laughs> Not even calling him a liar, just less than forthright. So we're like, uh, so, so meanwhile, uh, we're on Zagreb time. Yeah. So we're on Croatian time. So we are six hours ahead of East Coast time, which like means that we are literally on the opposite side of the planet of Silicon Valley where all this news is happening. So all that happens, it, we're at dinner. It's a nice, fancy dinner. They're, you know, shaving truffles and shit on, <laughs> you know, a, 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 a pasta. And, and then we go to sleep. Wake up. And the word on the street is Sam's coming back. People aren't, people aren't talking about it, but just so you know, Sam's coming back, right? This is, this is gossip. From, 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 from the last ether. night news, today news, like uh, the adults woke up, they decided the board was dumb, blah, blah, blah. By the way, real quick, uh, uh, just, you know, for context, uh, this is an odd company in that there's a for profit segment that is owned by a non profit, a non profit, uh, how, how many members on the non profit board that have the final say on everything? Five. Uh, are you sure about that? Oh, well, there was five, and then one got demoted off the board because he was Sam's, like, uh, buddy, right. uh, which is the other part of, like, why you're like, oh, wait. So Sam Altman, the CEO of the for-profit entity of the nonprofit company OpenAI, gets fired, but then the guy that was close to him also gets demoted off the board. Why? Who knows? Maybe he was also a murderer or a pedophile. We don't know. So I go to sleep. Wake up. Rumor is everybody's in revolt. Nobody knew shit. Because I went to sleep that first night and I'm like, oh, this is some classic Microsoft shit. Microsoft saw a soft target an easy board to manipulate. They're like, oh, okay. They're going like, to tear this apart. You want to know what? We, we can just, we can buy just up the pieces. Bing, bing, bing. Like, like for the price of four people's souls, all we, have, like, we get to own $86 billion worth of value. Oh, this is a Microsoft play. Wake up. No, Microsoft's fucking furious. They had no idea this is happening. They are totally against it. Uh, uh, and that's why Sam's coming back. Uh, oh, great, great. It's not like he's about to be told that there's another opportunity, maybe at Microsoft, and maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa hold on, hold on. We're walking. We're okay. walking. Okay. We're walking. Okay. We're walking. Okay. Through this. All, right. We're walking All, right. Through this. All right. So we go through that day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sam's coming. Back. Sam's coming back. I go to sleep. I wake up, <laughs> and Brian, I gotta tell you. Yeah. This was the most confused and baffled that I have been because you are somebody that has been on the road a lot. And I'm sure that you have had the experience when you're in a lot of hotels consecutively, you have a hard time remembering where 
you are. Habit and routine. That's the key. Like I know where uh, I can all be, no matter where I am, I wake up, I know where to lean over and grab my phone. I know to open the calendar and remind myself, oh, that's right. I'm in this hotel. I'm in this gig. I'm, I've got this going, coming up. But even when you're like, the where am I? The where am I thought. Yeah. Like the waking up, wondering where the bathroom is because it's in a different place each yep. time, each hotel. On the road, I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation. So we're in a bunch of hotels consecutively and I'm just out of it. My wife leans over and tells me something for which I am almost certain is either incorrect or a dream. In fact, if I were to list the likelihood of what she told me as incorrect, number one, dream, number two, actual fact, a distant third, distant third, which is my old boss is the new CEO of OpenAI. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so, so for the uninitiated, my Ashley wife works at Twitch. <laughs> my wife yes. works at Twitch. She worked under Emmett Shear, the CEO of Twitch, one of the co-founders of Twitch, uh, uh, for, for for many years. Uh, and and he did he did a good job. He sold the company to Microsoft for nine billion. Uh, uh, but the problems of Twitch, complicated though they might be, are not the problems of AI, especially right. in, as we had found out in the intervening 48 hours, c- problems that were so hey, philosophically uh, get, thorny, get, 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 uh, get, they get, fire the CEO of get, an $86 just, billion just, dollar company. Get, give me a, a brief moment to unfairly imagine how the former CEO of Twitch would handle problems with AI. Uh, uh, AI is taking over nuclear bombs. He's like, mm, could we offer it t-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> no, AI is negotiating to run for office. We're like, ooh, what if we had a face-off against Ninja? <laughs> AI... <laughs> is currently at war with all of humanity. <laughs> it was like, mm, that sounds to me like we should live stream it. What are you doing? I'm going to read you a tweet. <laughs> Emmett Shear <laughs> on X. Have you ever thought about how to a horse the world is basically (laughs) Candyland. Like they're just wandering down a trail and boom, there's just some thistles. Then to the left, a delicious tree. There's just food all over the ground everywhere. Horses seem pretty excited about it. And then just a map of Candyland. (laughs) Uh, Real tweet from Emma Cheer during his time at Twitch, which is to say that Emmett is somebody that I think it should be very, very, very respected. Like, like I, I don't, I don't want to portray him as a lightweight. Uh, I just want to say Twitch needed a unique person to make it succeed on the level that it has succeeded. Something that we benefit from not only for our show where we live stream, but also for me personally, because my wife works there. But those are, I don't know how many of those skills are equally transferable, especially when you are replacing somebody that built a nonprofit company into an $86 billion powerhouse fastest growing company that's ever happened in Silicon Valley that seems to be like if we now look at Google and say, yes, you solve search, but you became profitable because of AdWords, the idea of large language models, let alone the promise of AGI is incalculable. Well, like we, we don't have numbers that can quantify that kind of value. Uh, so, so I, I was, I was like, I don't know if I said this, but in my heart, I did. 
She's like, my own boss is the new CEO of OpenAI. My response was, bitch, you tripping? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's no, there's no fucking way. There's no uh, way. And yet it was real because we, we thought we were in the know. We thought we were on the inside. We're like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. Sam's coming back. Sam's coming back. No, we're not. And meanwhile, all we're doing is talking about this the entire time. And thank God we're in a nation that doesn't predominantly speak English because we're not boring everybody else by talking about this constantly. We're just gibberish. We're, 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 we're Sims language-ish. Well, uh, my favorite part of this story is that it ends there. <laughs> Yet, <Yeah>, Brian, <laughs> what? Finn does not. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's more to this story? Oh, Lord, is there more? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not like you're going to wake up and the whole game has changed again the next day. Well, I mean, at, at that point, everything fucking breaks loose. Uh, one of the greatest tweets of all time is written by Satya Nadella of Microsoft. Yeah. Who, Where, by all accounts, is maybe one of the greatest human beings who has ever lived. Eh, it's not. Let's not go too far. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Put, uh, you know what? Not, Quote not, Justin on that one. Not me. Nicer than Bill Gates. <laughs> uh, what? You're going to really put down your mic so you can fold your coat over the bell. <laughs> Just so you know, audio wise, that there really was a bell. <laughs> He's going to ring it. So, you know, uh, you were saying <laughs> Satya Nadella, who, uh, for those of you who are unaware of the contours of this, like many of those Croatian citizens in Zagreb, <laughs> Microsoft owns 49% of the for profit arm of the nonprofit company of OpenAI. Correct. And, and has repeatedly made multiple investments that have brought it to a rough valuation of about $90 billion. Yes. So they have invested in either money or Azure credits, basically. So right. like, like they can use their cloud computing uh, uh, billions of dollars. All kinds of in terms of access to compute power yeah. and so on. And... Uh, uh, when you think of being, give or take, you can think of it as, you know, being powered by OpenAI's chat GPT, but it's not exactly the same. It's kind of a fusion, you know, they, they, they're they granted access and so on, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously with OpenAI in turmoil, Microsoft is effective. And, and that uh, uh, day in after hour trading, Microsoft stock plummeted. Like absolutely great. If you looked at like like the graph, it was dramatic. People were like, "Fuck it, no, sell Microsoft, sell Microsoft." And so, this is Sunday night before the markets go live. Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, has one tweet and uh, uh, praise Elon. He had enough runway to write this entire blog post. Microsoft welcomes Emmett Shear, the new CEO of OpenAI. We believe that everything that we have demonstrated in our roadmap that involves OpenAI, we are very much going to be able to tackle. Sunday night. No, no, no. Sunday night. Now, here's the important part. This is the same tweet. He didn't even give Emmett Shear the dignity of another tweet in a thread. He put it in the same tweet. Also, we would like to announce the hiring <laughs> of Sam Altman 
Greg Brockman, and anyone else who wants to come over from OpenAI, okay. you will have your exact same jobs, which basically means because Microsoft attended to its shareholders is basically saying, yes, the kids shit their pants. Don't worry. We have new pants for you, the investors. You're not going to have to worry about now, this. Now, there are certain things at Microsoft that I understand are sacrosanct. For example, when you work at Microsoft, you don't do so on an Apple computer. Yeah. When you work at Microsoft, you make sure teams yeah. anything else. Um, I understand there is some flexibility on those issues, but I can't imagine that people's loyalty to Sam Alton is so great that Not only does that add, not only does 770 of the 790 employees say, we'll just leave, which basically means, and this, this is the crazy one, follow Second Row, I've done either Tech News Today or Dave Show for the last couple of years. That means that you are essentially acquiring an entire company. That normally happens when, like, me and you, Brian, come up with the, like, way that you could post a podcast with art attached to it. And, like, it's just, like, a a cool little thing that they're like, oh, you want to know what Apple's like? Oh, that'd be cool for iTunes. Instead of buying the company quote unquote let's just hire the two guys that did it like like we'll, like, we'll like aqua like, hire you and now that they will just build that shit into itunes uh another way to put it would be uh yes you may buy the company yes you may buy the technology but you are not buying the hearts and minds this is a case of all of the hearts said and my axe <laughs> well but but here's the thing they're not buying the company like, 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 quite literally, they're, they're not. saying, "Quit your old, no, quit the, your day job." I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> like that's the crazy part is that like it's an eighty nine billion dollar company that they're paying no money for. They're just saying, "Hey, would you like to walk across the street?" And and the entire company's like, "Yes." And Microsoft, who has done the dirtiest shit in tech, yeah, ever fucking recorded, gets to be the good guys. They get to be the adults. And they get to do it by by just showing up outside and going, scabs, scab, 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 scabs, scab, 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 scabs. And so uh OpenAI says, uh, whoopsie. Uh well, let's bring everybody back. Let's bring Sam back. Uh 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 you I don't know what? Do over. We're gonna reschedule the board, we're gonna figure new shit out. Uh, uh, but uh, it was the the, the craziest, the craziest uh, uh, step the period, especially the way that we did. We we're like, we only got news from like six o'clock. In the-